A great man resides on a hill near by a village, and he always spends most of his time in meditation. All the people of the village were happy people and united in solidarity. When they had any problem they would go to this great man and wait until he will come out of penance. They will get a solution to their problem through him and conveys gratitude to him and gets their problem solved as per his direction. However, there were two thugs in the village. They were jealous of the fame that was coming to the man on the hill. They want to embarrass him by any way, proving that he cannot guide properly, they wanted to get him out of here. What they thought was that they should put a bird in their hand and go to him and put their hands behind their backs and ask him what was in their hand. If he could say so, let him ask if it was alive or dead. If he says bird is alive, so they kill it with their own hands. As the bird dies, their plan is to mock and insult him for not giving the right answer. If he says bird was died, they plan to show the bird which is with life and then mock and insult for not giving correct answer. One afternoon during lunch break the two young men went up to him and stood. With a calm expression, the gentleman with the half-closed eyes opened his eyes after half an hour. When he saw them in front of him, he realized that they had come to make fun of him. But as if he did not know anything, he asked them, what do you want? One of them put his hand behind his back and said, Swami, what is in my hand tell me, he asked sarcastically. Swamiji with a smile, said a bird is in your hand. Again he asked Swami, what is the color of that bird? Swamiji closed his eyes for a moment and then opened his eyes and said that it was green color, and it's a parrot. Then one of them asked, Swami now tell me, is it alive, or is it dead? Then he shook his head for a moment and stared at them, see my dear, it is in your hands, it depends on you. They did not expect this answer. They immediately begged the Swami to forgive them for their mistake, and did Padanamaskara and left from there with Shai. Friends, if we look, life gives us many opportunities, but whether we take advantage of those opportunities or not is up to us. It is especially in the hands of today's youth to build a solid foundation for their future. We have known since time immemorial that today's children are tomorrow's citizens. If a modern, prosperous country is to be built it is in the hands of the youth. If we take our life, the formula 20 equals 80 applies. A master describes all his students in his classroom touching their heart during the first day of school itself. Everyone was given half an hour to find solution for how 20 equals to 80 b. They made all their efforts and failed and requested their teacher to tell the solution. Master said, 20 equals 80. It's not about mathematics, it's about your life. During the first 20 years, when your mom and dad take care of you, you work hard to set a goal for yourself and work towards it. With that dedicated plan and effort, you will be successful and then you will go on enjoying your life for 80 years of your life. Otherwise, if you go through those 20 years without listening to your parents and without setting up a regular planned life with you, then you will have to spend the next 80 years of your life with a lot of ups and downs and everyday problems. What you choose depends on your thinking. All the students who worked with joy, loving their work are ended up with higher education and are selected in the best positions and started performing their duties best. They are still very grateful to the teacher who taught them this lesson. Friends, today's youth spend their time in video games. 
They spend their time on social media networks or watching movies. Here we are not condemning that they must not play video games. It is not wrong for them to watch movies or form a team of their own on a social media network and sharing information with them. But video game is not just only life. Chatting on social network is not just only life, watching movies is not just only life. Young people need to learn to frame time rules for themselves. If you like video games, set aside half an hour for it, and do not play beyond that time. Because as we do what we do continuously, neuron tracks form in our brain and we become addicted to it. The same applies to social media, applies to movies and TV. So you have to set aside some time for anything. Your parents will be able to recognize through your behavior how responsible you are. But the analogy 20 equals 80 formula should be in your mind and then you do not need to tell anyone else. You will become a role model for yourself, to your family, to your friends, and the community around you. Time is so much precious. It should not be wasted. The life of a person who respects time is perfect. Please, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Press the bell icon for notifications. Thank you.